Hey guys, what's up? It's Fallen Designs. Um, we're going to be doing a tutorial in Cinema 4D, but first I just want to say that I have been inactive for about a week and a half or two weeks, and it's because school has uh, been really, like, uh, just taxing. It's not hard, it's just it's taking up a lot of time, and so is my music and a bunch of that stuff, so it's really hard to do tutorials or speed arts or just honestly make any type of video. But uh, I'm going to be trying to uh, make as many videos and speed arts and other stuff as I can. So please just bear with me, and if I'm... Please still keep sub to me, okay? I There definitely will be videos coming up soon. I plan to do a speed art of... Uh, well, I'm not going to tell you what, what it is, but I'm planning to do a speed art pretty soon and uh, releasing it. But anyway, so let's get started in today's tutorial. Uh, we will be learning how to do a grunge texture in Cinema 4D. Or, and uh, first, you want to make sure you have some grunge images. Like uh, I have some images here that I found on the internet. I just found my grunge. Okay, here it is. And these are all my grunge images. Uh, the one that I like to use is this one. I will post a link to it. I'll upload it to Image Shack or something, and I'll post a link to it for you to download, no problem. So, uh, also, just make sure you have a bunch of grunge textures. Uh, they all work. Well, some of them don't work, but it's just like trial and error to see which one is the best one. But anyway, so <clears throat> let's get started. So you want to open a new file, and first you want to do is uh, go to a MoText, or you can use whatever you want. Like it can be a model, something modeled, or it can be like a tube, or any of these it doesn't matter. But anyway, you want to take your text. I'm just gonna name this uh, about grunge. Grunge. I'm going to go to Agency FB, which is one of my favorite fonts of all time. Okay, let's do raise it up, make this bold. Okay, add a really small fill cap, about 2.35. 2.35, that sounds good. And, uh, I like to change my render settings. Oh, that's good. And I like to also create a nice lighting setup. And I might have a tutorial on this lighting setup that I use. I got it from iModernArts. He is a very good graphics designer and motion graphics designer. He His intros are, like, I think they're the best. But, uh... I got this lighting setup from him from a tutorial, so if you want to get a really good lighting setup, just go watch his video about it. Anyway. <coughs> Gotta make the materials. Okay. Positing tag, okay. Now we have the global illumination set up so we can render out an image or whatever we want. You wanna first make your basic text color, like what you want the text to be. So I'll just pick uh, kind of like a darkish green. Add a reflection. Not that much though, just about 25%. And then, uh, if you want, you can add, like, black edges, but, or, really, or you can do whatever combination you want, but I'll just do black edges for right now. Okay, and if this is an animation, then you want to duplicate another black one and put it as R2 but so it's if you're gonna see the back side of the text it's also black on the other side too anyway so uh, 
Now for the grunge materials. Uh, first, what I like to do is go to Alpha Channel. And most people don't know what this is, but it pretty much uh, creates it as a PNG in a way. Like, some spots of the image are PNG, so it's it doesn't cover all of the text, but it, it covers some, so it might be, like, spotty or uh, whatever, really. So I like to go to... Uh, I like to load this image right here. Hit no. And then... Just wait for it to load. And as you see, it's already transparent, but I like to add a uh, kind of darkish color to this. And I like to add the same image, too. So I'm just going to wait for it to load. Okay. <clears throat> my, my allergies are so bad. All right. And put the mix strength down. Uh, so that looks pretty good, I guess. And you want to put this to cubic, and then you want to make it see those harsh edges, right? Harsh edges right there and right here. If uh, if it's not on seamless, the edges uh, right around here are going to be really harsh, and it's going to look really bad. So what I like to do is put it on seamless, and then you have fixed the problem. See, there's no other, it's no straight lines or anything, and it looks nice. And uh, if you want it to be a little bit darker, just make it all the way black and just put this down. So wait for it to load. And it's already dark. And also what I like to do is uh, guy, to go to the content browser. And it always takes uh, a long time to load for me, but uh, at the content browser, I like to get a material, like a sandy material, or like a gravel material. So what I like to do is go to uh, Presets, Broadcast, Resources, and you want to go to Materials, then you want to go to Natural, and then Stone, and you have all these to pick from. You want one that looks kind of grainy. Uh... Like, a good example of when I say grainy is, like, the gravel one. The gravel. I like to pick the gravel, too, so just hit enter. And what you want to do is hit on the gravel. And then the bump channel, you want to copy channel. Just wait for it to load. Then I like to go to the bump channel here. And copy, paste channel, my bad. And I like to put the strength up about, let's see how 65 looks. <clears throat> and this always takes a really long time to load, but shouldn't be that bad. Mm, hurry up. Okay. And now let's see how that looks. And it will take a longer time to render because of the bump channel. So uh, just if you're making like uh, a really long intro, just it'll take a longer time. And you can see how it gives it that bump effect where it's kind of bumpy and like maybe grainy. And maybe that's too high. Just got to screw around with like the, the, uh, the strength of it and uh, whatever your preference is really. But let's say you wanted to do, I'm going to just take off this bump channel because it just creates a longer time. What if you want to do like an icy, an icy blue color or uh, like an icy blue. I want to make this white. And you already have a nice grunge image already with the darkness of it, but... If you wanted to raise it, put it maybe put a yellowish or bluish tint in it. It kind of looks like an icy, an icy grunge. Like you know how have you seen snow, and it's kind of like has that dirt in it. Just looks like this. But anyway, that is how I like to do my grunge textures, and uh, the alpha channel 
doesn't have to be used for just these. It can be used for other types of things. Uh, pretty much just got to trial and error it. But anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed, and I hope this helped you a bunch. And uh, please subscribe to all my videos. And uh, my channel is Fallen Designs Graphics. And uh, just click on it, so hit the yellow button over here. And uh, thank you guys. And also, an example of this is my new background, my current background. And I have uh, little black spots on the text. And I think this is definitely one of my favorite backgrounds. But uh, what inspired me to do this type of background was the Synergy intro by Trooper Effects. It had grungy text. It was red and blue. And it, it just looks really sexy, I think. But... And uh, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I hope this, I hope this helped you, and uh, please subscribe.